Hi everyone, it's Gabrielle with Oxmoor Auto Group. So today I am here at the Healing Place. I'm here with Keenan. Now I am very honored to be here on behalf of Oxmoor Toyota with our Toyota Match Program. So as you can see, we have this very large check to give you guys for the amount of $2,500. Now Toyota is matching this for a grand total of $5,000 for your charity. So we're very, very, very excited to be able to do this for you all. Well, and we are so grateful from the Healing Place. Um, at the Healing Place, it costs about $30 a day for a client to be here. Uh, so this check is going to go so far, and we are so grateful for Oxmoor Auto Group. So thank you guys again for coming down and giving us this. Of course, thank you. All right, Keenan. so can you tell us a little bit about what the Healing Place is? Sure. So um, the Healing Place um, at our mission here is to help individuals that are suffering from alcohol and drug abuse. Um, and we do that by serving nearly a thousand clients on a daily basis down here. We do that all at no cost to the client. Okay. Um, so you're at our men's campus right now and we have a women's campus and then a campus in Campbellsville. Um, so clients can come in and um, we don't ask very many questions just if they're ready to change. Mm -hmm. And we'll get you a bed and they stay with us for six to nine months here. Oh, wow. And um, they're learning the tools to lead productive, um, productive lives and get back into society free of drugs and alcohol. Uh, we serve about 19,000 meals a week down here, wow. uh, and that's between all three of our campuses. But we do that, and we rely on support from individuals in the community to help mm -hmm. us as well. But um, this program is amazing. Uh, we have so many people that um, their lives have been saved by the Healing Place. Right. Um, so we're so grateful for individuals in the community that help us and that come down here and support us. Um, like I said, we're a peer-driven program. So when somebody comes in off the streets, um, you know, they don't think they can give up drugs and alcohol. Right. Then they see somebody that they might have known from the street or somebody about the same as them that they've completed the program and that gives them the motivation to stay in the program and to complete our program. Um, and we're gonna provide them when they're down here, we provide them with food, clothing, shelter, and that's all at six to nine months and that's depending on the person. And we do that all at no cost to the client, again, so you can come in from the street and we're not going to charge anything for our clients to be down here. That's incredible. It's an amazing, mm -hmm. amazing program. And um, I've worked here for um, quite a few years and I love this program. But also, um, I came through this program and um, I know that this program works. Um, it helped me get off opiates and it helped me stay sober and I get to be a mother and a daughter mm -hmm. and a wife. Um, thank, I'm so thankful for this program. So. You see miracles every day down here, mm -hmm. which is the most amazing part about this place. You can walk around Market Street and you see people and you just know that they, they have it in them and they're gonna stay sober and they're gonna lead um, a great and amazing life. So that's why we love it down here, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Now with COVID-19, has that, has that you know hindered you all in any way? Well, um, of course COVID-19 has affected everybody everywhere. Right. Um, and I'm so proud of our facility for um, the steps that we have taken during COVID-19. Mm -hmm. um, so when all of this started, we put in place with our operations team cleaning um, certain protocols, but we stayed open the entire time. Wow. Even to our overnight shelter, we still had our overnight guest in here. Um, and we just were taking temperatures, doing everything we right. needed to do with our clients, and we monitor our clients closely. Uh, but we've been very fortunate down here with COVID. Right. So everything is pretty much still in place. We still clean, we still make sure that everybody's staying safe, and we'll continue to do that. Right. And we'll continue to stay open. I know a lot of other places um, have really felt the effects and not been able to stay open because of COVID, but we're very fortunate down here. Well, that's really so, good that y'all were still able to do all that. It is, right? yeah, thank goodness. Right. I know we'd have um, almost a thousand men and women out on the streets yeah. and you know we'd be overloading the community with that if we had closed down because of COVID. So right. it's important that we stay open. Definitely. Yeah. Now lastly, if anyone uh, wants to get involved with you guys, how can they do that? Is there anything that you all need right now? Well, um, of course, COVID hit everybody hard financially. Right. So um, monetary donations are huge for us right now. We're really relying on monetary donations to get us through this. Mm -hmm. um, if you're interested in donating to The Healing Place, you can go to thehealingplace.org slash donate. Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, if you're interested in doing something other besi besides monetary donations, we're always in need of um, towels and washcloths deodorant, <laughs> soap supplies for our men and women in detox. Okay. Um, winter stuff, winter is coming, so they're gonna right. need um, stuff to keep them warm while they're walking every day. Okay. Uh, we're also in need of shoes. Okay. 
Okay. Um, so, but towels, washcloths, um, oh, and twin sheet, twin size fitted sheets okay. for all of our beds. Um, this campus has 426 beds. Wow. Our women's campus has 250 beds and our Campbellsville campus has um, 100 beds. So you can imagine wow. all those beds that we need to have sheets for. Right. So um, yeah, anything like that, if you want to donate down here, um, we would be very grateful for that. And they can just deliver it here? Yeah, they can deliver okay. it to our campus here. And okay. we also have a campus on Hill Street. It's 15th and Hill, okay. and that's our women's campus. Okay. Perfect. Yes, right. yeah. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you for coming down. Yes, thank you for having us. All right, so great. Can you tell us a little bit about how this, um, this program has helped you? Yeah, uh, so I, uh, I ended up homeless in Fayette County in January, and uh, I'm a chronic IV drug user of heroin and methamphetamine. Yeah. Um, so my family and friends were exasperated with me, and they had heard the Healing Place help people, so they brought me uh, here on January 7th. I had been out there so long that I, I literally had run my shoes off. I had nothing when I got here. Um, I've been clean ever since I got here. Uh, I finished the program. I currently work with other people in the program to help them do the same thing. And uh, everything that I have came from this place. The outfit that I'm wearing today, right down to my shoes and everything, it came out of our clothing closet, right? Okay. So it just gave me a new opportunity to live a different way. Mm -hmm. And it gave me time to change. And uh, I couldn't have done it anywhere else. That's incredible. I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs>